Welcome back. In this video, we're going to show you some simple keyframing using the main timeline. It's not going to be the best or ultimate way to animate, but it's just sort of an introduction to give you a start, how you can get your little box man here waving or nodding his head doing some things. So I'm going to do a really simple one. First, I'm going to reset the pose, and I'm just going to animate our character doing a head bob and then a quick wave. Okay. So uh, just watch along here. First of all, I'm going to right-click the armature, make sure it's selected. Whoops. I'm going to go into pose mode, A twice to select everything, and I'll go pose, clear, transform, all. This moves my bones back into the rest position, which looked like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to do an animated head bob. Now notice here I'm on frame zero, or sorry, I'm on frame one, so I'll just stay on frame one right now. And I want to keyframe the way this looks. Now the way the keyframes work is whatever you have selected, when you insert a keyframe, will be keyframed. So you only have to keyframe the parts that are moving or changing from point A to point B. So here we go with the head. I'm going to right click the head, so the head selected, and I'm going to keyframe it. Hit I, and it asks me what do I want to keyframe on frame 1. Well for now I'm going to do the location and the rotation of it. So click. And you can see we get our yellow line there, and it's keyframed. If you actually want to see in a little more detail what's going on, you can switch your window here from the 3D view, just temporarily switch it to the dope sheet. The dope sheet shows you keyframes, and it shows you what it's recorded. For the head, it's recorded the X, Y, Z, and the angles. Right? So that later on, we'll get into more detail in this. But just to let you know, that's what it's recording. So let's go back here. Let's move forward in time. Let's move maybe to 15. I'm going to right click the head, hit R to rotate. I've locked it to the Z, so let's just do a head bob like that, just exaggerate it. And hit I to keyframe. And again, I'll do location rotation. I'll move ahead to frame 30. I'll put it back to its starting position. Now there's different ways to do it. I could go and copy and paste keyframes on the dope sheet, or I can just go R and put it back, but you may not get it exactly back. But I do know it was the rest position, Should I? so I could also go pose, clear, transform, all. I know that's back to normal. Hit I to keyframe that, location, rotation. Now when I go here, you can see the head bones been keyframed. Okay, Just to look at the dope sheet while that's happening, the dope sheet, frame 15, sorry, 1, 15, and 30, and that basically plays through the animation, right? If you could see it. So when I hit play now, there's a little head bob. Now if you wanted to add something like an arm wave, I'll just do a little arm cross. Let's go to a top view. I'll just do this really quickly. Notice when I have the arms selected, there are no keyframes. When you hit the head selected, you see its keyframe timeline. When you have this arm selected, that's its timeline, right? No keyframes in there. So let's just go for a little animation here. Let's uh, keyframe this and the arm. So I'm actually going to hold the shift key and select both of them. So I have that, shift that, two of them are selected. Let's keyframe it, keyframe, location and rotation. Let's move forward in time a bit. Maybe I'll move to 30 and I'm going to take that bone. Rotate, move it forward, take that bone, rotate, move it forward. Let's do this a little more, something like that. And make sure you have both of them selected again. So selected, shift, selected. If I only have one selected, it's only going to keyframe the one. So hit I, location, rotation. Puts the keyframe in there. Nice. So there I got the head bob, and now I got the arm coming forward. Now I want to maybe bring the arm back by frame 60. And so let's just go rotate, bring it back, rotate, bring it back. Uh, keep in mind, I could just select both and go pose, clear, all. The selected bones go back to their rest and just keyframe. Location, rotation. That's it. When I move through the timeline now, notice you still see the head doing its thing but this is showing the keyframes for the arm. 
So you can see that with a little bit of work and keyframing, you can pretty well do almost any motion. Getting it to look really real though, like a real run or jump or swing, it's pretty hard. It's more than just one, two, three keyframes. You know, you got to do some other things in there, but for a beginner, not too bad. Check out the dope sheet here. I'll switch my timeline to the dope sheet. <coughs> Sorry. You can see here it's keyframe the head, it's keyframe the arm, it's keyframe the lower arm. Like these are the keyframes, right? These keyframes can actually be moved around, slid, grabbed. Like I could take this and go G to grab. I can move them way out so it actually slows down that arm coming back. You know, you can do anything you want with the keyframes here. You can copy paste them. Where is that? Copy and paste in the dope sheet to make it easier if you don't want to be moving around. But that's your basics, basics, right, of keyframing the animation. What we're going to do in a future video is we'll show you how to save your animations as little blocks called action strips. So once you've done a head, head bob, you can reuse that head bob all you want. Or a punch, you can save the punch and call the punch whenever you want. You don't have to re-keyframe it every time. And that's a part of the NLA and the action strip tutorial. Thanks for watching.